Welcome to the PCPC Breakdown. In this video, I'll be discussing the Black Death, also known as the Black Plague, and COVID-19. I'll tell you some of the history of the Black Death, and then we'll compare the two. I've got a lot of information to get across, so I'll try to make this as fast as possible. So, what was the Black Plague? Most people know it as a time in the Middle Ages, where there were pointed-nosed doctors and wealthy people who died from rats spreading disease. And that's not far off. It was a bacterium that spread throughout Asia and Europe in the mid-1300s, catching a ride from rodents and fleas. Unknown to many, getting bit by the fleas that carry the bacteria resulted in the illness and then people spread it to each other. With the death toll estimated around 60% in England and tens of millions in Asia. Similarly to the coronavirus, it started somewhere in Asia and moved to Europe and other areas. The CDC notes that plague is an infectious disease that affects rodents certain other animals, and humans. It is caused by the Yersinia pestis bacteria. These bacteria are found in many areas of the world, including the United States. Of course, all that wasn't discovered until the 1800s. So in the case of the plague, this plague, it was believed to be bubonic, basically a fancy way of saying that it was given by the fleas and caused swollen lymph nodes, which is the welts often portrayed in art from that time period. Now, they could have also gotten the septicemic plague, which is an infection in the blood. It could be developed from bubonic, or they could have just got it right off. This caused blackening of the skin, usually in the fingers or toes. If they survived through the bubonic and septicemic plague, they could get pneumonic plague, which is the infection of the lungs. Now, here's where things are similar to the coronavirus. If a person lived and developed pneumonic plague, they could easily spread it from person to person just by inhaling droplets from someone who was already infected. Sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the people of that time had no idea how to stop it. Germs hadn't even been discovered yet. So, what did they do to get rid of it? Various methods. There were many spiritual methods. All were beyond what we would comprehend as medicinal. For example, they would make patients bleed or attach leeches to them to suck out the blood in an attempt to balance their bodies. Of course, it's not an issue anymore because of modern medicine. I mean, antibiotics. Eventually, people lost hope of being cured by any means and left their homes, left their loved ones, left anyone who was infected. That's what saved everyone who was left. What ultimately ended the plague was social distancing and quarantine. The term quarantine even dates back to those days when sailors would come into port and they would be held on ships for 40 days, hence the name. Funny enough, plague still has ongoing cases, roughly 1,000 to 3,000 a year. These two epidemics, and well, epidemic and pandemic, have a few similarities. They both started in Asia. They both began with animals. They both could be spread through the air. They both have or had no cure. They both utilize social distancing as a method to stop the spread. On the other hand, their statistics are uh, vastly different, okay? Uh, the mortality rate in the U.S. for the coronavirus is roughly 1.9% of those infected. That's roughly 0.001% of the U.S. population. The global mortality rate of those infected is roughly 4.9%. That's close to 0.0005% of the global population. Whereas the mortality rate for England alone was roughly 60% of England's population. The entire world is dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, with very few exceptions. And the Black Death was limited to Asia, Europe, and some in Africa. Unfortunately, the predictions of the coronavirus in the U.S. are expected to reach between 100 to 300,000 deaths in the following weeks to come. Although they didn't have the same practices for hygiene in the 1300s, they still managed to slow down the spread of the Black Death. With all of the disinfectants, soap, and safe hygiene practices we have now, the spread of the coronavirus has an extremely lower impact on individuals than it did back then. Nevertheless, we must uh, learn from history and make the proper adjustments in our current situation. Make sure you listen to your local news sources for updated information. This is the PC, PC Breakdown, and we'll see you guys next time. Whoa, that was a lot. <laughs>